scary story. <laughs> um, it's so uh, you can actually see me. You can't even see the dog. No, can't even see the dog. Hang on. There it, dog. Oh. There he is. So, um, it's a Tuesday morning. Obviously, I didn't work Monday. No, we had Monday off. Um, today, we are going to Lincoln. Um, so, nice easy day. I'm in the little lorry. Obviously, because I've got to use this. To <laughs> so you can see me um, so yeah nice easy day I've only got four well I'm only gonna have 14 on because I'm in the little lorry so it should be should be an easy day should be finished at lunchtime so I can get back and ride both ponies um, so yeah let's get going so it's actually that foggy I can't see anything behind me we are just guessing because the lights are shining and I can't, oh, I literally cannot see a thing behind. <laughs> Dad was ringing because the farmer rang him, even though the farmer could have just rang me to see where I was. I don't know, but um, because I haven't been driving very, very, very quick, like normal speed because of obviously the fog. I can't really see a lot in front of me. Um, I don't want there to be a parked car and me just ram it up the arse or something like that. So, I'm, I'm a bit confused why he didn't ring me. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just pulling down his driveway. Um, uh, we'll back up um, and then load up. So, um, I've got 14 on and I've got two sets of paperwork. Um, this is because I've got 10 British on and um, four Angus on the back. Um, so, I just have to, it's just an Aberdeen Angus sheet and then you just your British beef sheet so exactly the same sheet it just has Aberdeen Angus at the top and British on the on the top of the other one so I just put some Mary's 105 I'm in the little lorry so VX04AZW um, I've not got a trailer on because I'm in a rigid so we just put a line through that and we loaded at, I'll put 6.40, because I was a little late because of the fog. And I literally just do exactly the same on the other one. Um, and then we will get going. So when I filled out the paperwork, I mentioned that I had an Aberdeen Angus sheet and a British sheet. So obviously the Aberdeen Angus is a breed and that's just that they've got a scheme for the Aberdeen Angus, hence why, blah, blah. Um, the British is anything that was born in Britain. So whether that be, so that's any breed, whether that be a Limousin, um, an Angus Cross, because an Ang if it's on the Angus scheme, it has to have a named sire, um, named sired bull, if it's, out of just a random bull with the Angus cow that doesn't count um, it's got to have a named sire um, so going back to the British that could be any breed for instance like a Charolais a Limousin um, a Hereford a British Blue anything any, any breed whatsoever um, they do have a Hereford scheme, but again, that has to be again a named sire Hereford. Um, it can't just be your, Her your Hereford cross, whatever. It's got to have a named sire. Um, so, yeah, concentrating. Thank you. Um, we'll take. Oh, he's put his puff in. There we go. We'll take little dolly pants for a um, walk after I finish washing out. That doesn't look good because it looks like he's waiting to wash out. Uh, shouldn't take too long to wash out because um, it's been so foggy all the way here, uh, which means there's so much moisture in the air, which will keep the, um, the box all really wet still, so it hasn't dried on or anything like that. So we'll pull up here and then we'll unload. So I've just unloaded. 
the one that's not the nicest one in the world which the farmer told me to watch um, wouldn't come off um, someone's just coming off the wash as you can see um, so I'm just going to reverse on because Gilders are waiting to unload Dolly will wait in the lorry while I wash out he goes to sleep and then I'll give him a walk down down the field so yeah let's go and wash out so we've just washed out this has become really foggy again um, someone's went to sleep behind the passenger seat um, so we're just going to pull out and then park up and uh, we'll give him a little walk. Oh, it's so, so cold. So I'm just walking down this field. Don't worry, it is a, it is a footpath. Um, I can't even see my lorry. I haven't even gone very far away from it. But we just walk up here and then we'll walk back. Just let him have a leg stretch. Um, so yeah, it's a bit cold on my face, I'm not going to lie. So just jump back in the lorry and off we go again. He's happy, he's dirty. I can't believe how foggy it is still. It was lifting and then it's kind of just come back down. What's the temperature? Two degrees, lovely and warm. So yeah, let's go home. Nice easy day. Now going back to my game. Oh, that's a clever car driver because he thinks he doesn't need lights in the fog. Mm. But yes, um, the horse box that was in front of me, that is in front of me now, um, woman driver, and um, uh, this is my pet hate. I hate it when people do this, is when you get past them and you flick your indicator on to pull in and then so they decide just to put their foot down and undertake you yeah that is class bit of driving that is that is my worst pet hate and i can assure you that is a lot of lorries worst pet hate is when oh they find oh let's go faster when the lorry is overtaking you because that is a great idea and then we're going to undertake you oh yes huh. so i've just pulled back in the yard um that's that's broken um so i'm just going to fill out my movement book which i'm just checking taking out the middle and put my tacker i've just filled out my taco so I can go in that and we'll just fill out my movement book and we'll go home and ride uh, tomorrow I'm back in the little lorry so um, yeah see you guys tomorrow if you guessed I'm in the little lorry you have guessed correctly because I've got my torch on because that light doesn't do anything um, what we got we're doing at 13 to Bedford so my normal Wednesday that was a normal Wednesday but then it got cut off last week but normal Wednesday back on to this week um, going Coventry to Bedford um, I've just put my card in my paper card and yeah I'm just gonna quickly do my walk around checks um, and then we'll get going well that just took me about 10 minutes to detangle my GoPro. Um, but yeah, I'm nearly at my farm. There you go. Um, I'm actually on time for a change. <laughs> I'm always a few minutes late. Because I seem to always leave a few minutes late. But I was one minute early today. Oh my god. Hello. Um, so yeah. How was the time? 6.21 I'm meant to be there at 6.30 so I'll easily do it or I wonder how the house is doing it's been two weeks since I've been so or oh, I wonder how it's getting on house update coming soon um wee 
going this lane. I key wipe, well, I haven't wiped that mirror. That mirror needs wiping because I can't see a lot out of it. This mirror I've wiped, I still can't see anything out of it. It's actually worse than up before I wiped it. So when I get to the farm, I'm gonna have to wipe the mirror so I can actually see where I'm going behind or actually see what I'm going to hit, shall we say? That's better. Oh dear. Oh, when I get home, I've got to hitch my unit up to the single decker because we are going down to Somerset tomorrow with a load. Are you ready? Are you steady? Just pulling into the driveway now. Oh look, he's gone, it's got higher. It has got higher, just so you guys. You probably can't see because these lights are absolutely that dreadful that people don't flash me when I've got my main beam on because they're that bad. Look, they've got up to this, they're just doing second floor. Look, they've gone higher. Oh, it looks a fair size house to be honest with you. Ooh, snazzy. Anyway, right, concentrate back because we're gonna go and load up. But first, let me take a selfie. No, let's not do that. Um, first I need to actually um, clear my mirrors so I can see, especially this one. You've been me, what, what? Hey, they've dug a trench. What is that? How far does this trench go? Oh, all the way down that, right, okay. Hi. Right. Uh, 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 right, I'm gonna back up. You won't be able to see anything because my, because the lights are awful. But I'm gonna wipe my mirror first before I do anything because I can't actually see anything out of this mirror. Oh, look at that we've loaded and how nice is it is actually getting light it is 6 55 and it is getting lighter in the mornings that's what we like to see <sighs> anyway yeah we're just loaded we've got 13 on unlucky for some we've done a five a five and a three so easy peasy lemon squeezy you know the drill, it takes me about an hour and a half to get to Bedford, so I should be there about half eight time, which is normal time. Um, so I'm just pulling up his drive, his electric gates stay open while I'm down here, and then obviously they close, it, well, he, I don't know, he, something, and he, it, it closes. Um, everybody has these electric gates around here, everybody has them, anyway. Let's uh, let's get going. Yeah, I'm just heading on to the forward two one towards Bedford. Go, go. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I saw a few people on the M1 that I knew. A couple of people. Not many people flashed me in the little lorry because they're a bit unsure of actually who is driving it. Because um, me or Dad. I mean, don't get me wrong, a fair few people flash Dad um, in his Volvo. He loves it, absolutely loves it. Um, I have a lot of people flash me in my lorry, in uh, my DAF, because no other person will drive that, except, oh no, I'm not gonna say that just yet. Oh look, I have Pup running out the back. Oh dear. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah. Tiny tag doesn't go out too much, but a fair few people actually flash tiny tag. Anyway, stop rambling on Becky and um, concentrate on what you're actually doing. Ooh. Oh, I hate it when traffic lights do that. So you stop, but it's quite, I like to, if I'm rolling really, really slow um, and it's going to jolt it, 
I prefer to stop and then pull off slower um, just because it's nicer on the animals rather than just jolting it forward and back all the time. Um, I try and carry it on rolling if my predictions are right with the with a roundabout or junction I like to try and keep it rolling um, just because it's smoother why 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 <laughs> uh, just because I want to be in front of the lorry because it's going to make me get be at my destination two seconds earlier Woo! that is some clever driving so I've just come off the 421. Huh? Is it 42? I'm pretty sure, it, yeah, it's 421. Um, I just get to the roundabout and I'm heading towards Sandy. Ah, oh, hi, Sandy. Um, yeah. So, hopefully, the wash is working. It shouldn't be too bad washing out. What's the temperature? At three degrees, a solid three degrees this morning really nice morning actually i like a morning like this wasn't frosty this morning though it was just like dewy heh <laughs> dewy ah oh, dear i amuse myself go go uh, anyway let's go and get these unloaded right, i've just unloaded i got poop on me it's okay uh, I'm just going to go around to the wash. Good bloody start. One day, one day, I'll get to a place and it won't start. Because uh, the starter motor thing. What's he doing? Oh, I'm trying to put the sheet in. One day, one day it won't start and I'll be ringing my boyfriend up. Out of bed. And I'll be like, well, no, he don't start. Oh, we're on the fly. Then he'll be like, I told you you should have done it earlier. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to back on the wash. And I'll wash out. It shouldn't take too long. I'm the first one in it. I am the first one in it. Yeah. That'll do that. Um, yeah, I said, huh, you're a bit dead. Yeah, I'm half eight and I'm the first one in there. I bet they're all gonna come like like London buses, he said. Um, one after the other. And it's just gonna be manic. But I said, I don't care, I'm first here, I can wash out. Bye! So I'm gonna go wash out now. about to leave Bedford. You know that lorry that was on Clarkson's farm that brought his cattle and pepper? Hey, he's right next to me! <laughs> um, yeah, so Mr. Will Ives just parked next to me. He's washing out now. We had to get a selfie in front of the famous lorry. Um, so it'd be well chuffed with that. I've just put it on my Instagram story. Um, so yeah, let's head home. <laughs> What's that? That? If it had free food, I would have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just getting towards the yard now. Um, literally is nine minutes past 10. And what a good day this is. Ah! But um, I've just got to sort my lorry out ready for tomorrow because I'm starting early tomorrow. Um, I'm hitching that onto the single decker because we've got 25 down to uh, Somerset um, and then we've actually got a night out a night out again we don't do nights out and like more times now I'm like posting it on YouTube and making my blogs and stuff like blogs and stuff like that I have more nights out 
so we mainly do hello uh, we mainly do um, uh, local so we don't do a lot of nights out nights out will be truck fest <laughs> normally um, which I this year I am going truck fest I'm going truck fest Peterborough uh, I'll be doing Malvern we'll be doing convoy in the park at Donington um, I don't know about Newark depending what feeling um, and I'm also going Assen um, Assen will not be in my lorry um, uh, I'll be in the boyfriend's lorry he said I'm going to drive it I said not a chance um, so yeah that'll be really good fun and I'll hopefully get a lot of good footage around Assen I've never been so I'm super 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 excited for that um, anyway I'm just gonna get back to the yard the sun is quite blinding on the road um, and um, sort everything out and then go and get some lunch and then go and ride both ponies so let's go so I've uh, just parked up in my little spot in the yard just taking my paper out um, I'm just gonna write it all down where I stopped which is here and it's the 15th hope everybody had a really good Valentine's what are we on 102 9331 Woo. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, put this away and this is where we've parked our parked her at the wash it's where we've parked just on the wash here well at the side of the wash i'm gonna grab my lorry and hitch it onto that trailer in a second i'm just gonna fill in my movement book but you have to do that every time you've moved any stock and um yeah oh, i'm quite peckish might nip to sainsbury's new sainsbury's around there um so I'm gonna go have a mooch round Sainsbury's and get myself some lunch. Mm. So anyway, is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo bye! So it's a Thursday morning. Dad's Dad started his lorry. Oh yeah, you can see it there. Um <laughs> got my fifth wheel cover with me. I've wedged it there, I've got nowhere else to put it. Um, I'm dropping that off somewhere. Um, I got my fifth wheel cover from um, Cuda, and if you use Becky 10, 10% 10 off, um, off everything off their website. Anyway, um, we better get going. Um, where are we going? We're going um, other, well towards Latterworth to Somerset. I've only got a single decker on, so it's only 25. And then I've got a night out tonight um, because I'm coming straight past the farm where I'm loading up for tomorrow. So there's no point in coming back home to the yeah. So um, yeah, let's get going. I need to get going. All right, so we're gonna get going. Um, I don't need to shut the gates because Dad's gonna do that. <laughs> there's Dad's light. Let's not hit it. I'm actually gonna put my camera on now because I don't trust this car driver. Um, he literally, look, he literally just overtook me, didn't realise there was a lorry in front, then decided to, oh, good idea to get in between us. Um, so yeah, he's just tried to brake test me, so I don't particularly 100% trust him. He's trying to get past the lorry in front, which he's not doing a fantastic job. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> I do have a dash cam. Um, so, I mean, yeah, but it's not the best dash cam in the world, and I know a GoPro will get it. <laughs> um, yeah, he's not the cleverest of car drivers. I don't particularly, I'm not loaded, so I can just slam on my brakes. Um, I'm just gonna stay, stay away from him a bit, because he keeps putting on his brakes, as you can see. Um, the lorry is only doing like, just under 50. Um, so we're just gonna stay back a bit. I think the car drivers have realized what's happening behind me. 
because <laughs> I had to slam on my brakes to um, let the car driver in. So I've still got my own space. But I'm just going to keep this rolling. I probably. Damn it! He's going the same way as me. I think, oh, she's following me now. It's like a shark. I'm probably thinking, what's she doing? But I had to wipe my mirrors and I had to put the GoPro on the mirror. Um, I don't trust that strap anymore because it's broke. So I don't leave it on there anymore. Oh, look, the, the other woman driver's here. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going back into her. Um, yeah, so I had to put that on and like I said, I couldn't see anything out my mirrors. Now it's a bit better. So, all we're going to do is just back up in between the two buildings like we normally do. Um, I have to watch my passenger side for the concrete feed a bit, where the cattle feed. Oh, let's put my mirror down because I can't see it because I think... So, to be honest, we're doing fairly well, I'm eight miles away from the feeder, the concrete slabs as you can see in front of me, and then just swing it round. I've swung too hard, but I will. And then it will straighten back up this side, and straight back. No, we're well, way off, Bex. Way off. There we go. Now we have to do is back straight. I'm sure I can manage that. No one's there, so I'm left to look myself. So it's SMTTR3. B Giles is my name. And we loaded at six. And because it's 25, you can only get 20 on an envelope. Um, Gotta do it on the other one as well. These are all Angus. This farmer only does Angus. Um, so I don't, I, I only have black ones on. All black ones. I'm not being racist. Um, but that's just the colour they are. Ah, oh, what am I in? I'm in bulk. S M T T R. I I can't multitask. Three. B. Giles. And six. Do I need to put the date? No. That's it. So I'm just going over these speed bumps that like send you out of the cab. Um, we're in Bridgewater. It's not too bad. Like these, with the decker, it's a bit more bumpy. And it, <laughs> there you go. That should be the last one. These ones are only half ones. Um, anyway, yeah, not too far away. I've had a fantastic run down here. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I shouldn't really speak too soon because I've still got half an hour left. Um, but yeah, um, at Strensham Services, there's a tree there and there. Um, as you, we normally queue really badly because they're doing roadworks that actually no one's been there for God knows how many months. But they decided let's shut a lane off just to cause havoc. Yep, yeah, that's English roads for you. Um, 
but no we 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 didn't queue really at all there i only lost about 10 minutes there when last time i lost about half an hour 45 minutes there um they wanted these cattle for e no later than 11 it's 20 to 10 now well quarter to 10 so yeah i've done quite well come on learner turn 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 there we go we got there in the end um I know it shouldn't harass learners. We were all there once, weren't we? Um, but I'm just going to turn on this road here. I need a wee. Oh. Look at that! I don't even have to stop! Woo! Reading the road or what? She's very dirty disgusting trailer um all the salt that's been put on the road is absolutely ridiculous like my trailer is literally just covered in it um and the unit you can't even see the artwork on the side because that's brown now not green and white yeah it's just brown um but yeah we'll get these tipped off and washed out have some lunch down here um like i said i've got to drop my fifth wheel <laughs> seems very odd having a fifth wheel cover here fifth wheel cover off at Tewkesbury on my way back up and then I'm having a night out um, at my farm so not too bad of a day quite an easy day as I don't I only have one deck to wash out today Woo! so um, yeah it's nice to only have one deck and no no like nuts and crannies it's all flat sides oh, I live in the dream <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of the, my favourite parts of the road, what's coming up, when empty. Not as much when loaded. This bit here, you get thrown out your seat as you come over it. You ready? Wee! Right, there we go. Um, and then it's about the same here, we go over a few bumps. Dee, 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 dee. And then we do about nine corners, like nine bends for a straight line. It's great fun when you're not loaded. Wee, wee. <laughs> I mean, we've got to entertain ourselves somehow. Ready? Ready? <laughs> wee. I know there's a vehicle coming. Wee. What is the point in all this? Ooh. Thanks, mate. Ooh, that was close. You didn't want to slow down. Oh, dear. Oh, we're nearly out of the bends. Don't worry. Diddy. Wee. There we go. That's all the bends done. So I had to stop the hedge trimming. As you can see, they've hedge trimmed all this. They were hedge trimming towards me, and um, I stopped because you can't really, it's really tight with a lorry coming the other way or a tractor. And I could see this lorry over over the hill. I was like, oh, I wonder what, what's happened there. So I slowed right up, and then I saw two tractors coming. So I stopped, and then the van behind me decided, oh, he wanted to overtake, but then realized there was two tractors behind me and then couldn't, stuck in the middle of the road. Leather van driver, he's still behind me. Um, we're not too far away now. It's not the nicest of roads, especially in the Arctic. Um, I mean, I personally wouldn't want to trim a hedge along that road. It's, yeah, but anyway, we're nearly there. Um, we've done really, really well. I'm super pleased in how we've done. Um, just let's get them off. I just pulled in, there's a fridge in front of me, and I'm doing the wiggle. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yes, I need a Ah! There's a fridge lorry in front of the intercom. Oh, I should have stopped. Come on, Bex, you can do this. There's too many cameras to jump out. Ah. 
still need this wee. Oh my god, I don't think I can. I'm going to have to ask to use a toilet. I know it's it's one deck. It's a lot easier. Is it easier to haul, is it? Yeah, and to wash out. How many you got on it? Twenty-five. Stuff it. Yes, please. And your rates, please, Becky. You should know that by now. I don't. <laughs> BU11 SMT. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, my dear. Thank you. It's fairly busy um, in the rush up, so. Might have to just hold fire, okay? That's okay, I need a wee. <laughs> Cheers, my dear. Ah, dear, we need the end of the new year. Well, you said I, I have to wait, so I'm going to have to ask for a toilet. Oh, my God. Oh, so it was tip. I'm just um, figuring out how to get around the roundabout they built in the middle of the place. But then decide, oh, let's park everything round the roundabout so we can't get out. So, apparently there's a key for the I went to the toilet. That was a good, that was a good save, that was. So yeah, she went to the toilet. Now, apparently there's a few people on the wash, but there wasn't any cattle in the lairage. Oh. So, oh, there's some. That's good, someone's coming off the wash. Well, I can see a space on the wash for me anyway, so that's all that matters. Thank you. something about oh. right blind it blind it this is when my boyfriend would say oh you wouldn't have to blind tag it if you had a left hand drive no but if i was on my good side i'd have to blind side it that side so i have to move all the hoses as well because they're all across i'm going to run over them uh. Concentration They must be doing well in the lairage because there's so many people here. Like, oh, there's literally no cattle in the lairage. I can't, it's not very helpful because I can't see anything at the mirrors. Oh, look at that. It's like she's done that before. Alright, pull it up. And get a bit tighter to the to the thing. I got really weird reverse bleepers. I think a bit of salt's got in it, so it's two toned. That's what it sounds like. It's like an ambulance.
meeting in my lap. Um, I wasn't too bad looking out. Um, I'm going to stop for that. Because someone was rushing out next to me. I didn't want the poop. Um, turn out the side of my trailer. From his lorry. So, I thought I'll leave. And then, um, uh, I'll stop and have my lunch. Hmm. Stay there. I don't know how to come out now. So I've parked up because really needs something to eat. So I've come around my windy bends and I've parked here. All I've got to do is take that fifth wheel cover. I'm glad it still stayed there um, to Cheeksbury and then go to my farm to have my night out. So I'm going to make the most of it. We are back on the M5. Woo back north we go. To Dukesbury to drop that fifth wheel cover off and try not to get lost in an industrial estate. Come on, mate. Thank you all. Because we don't do industrial estates. Why? Because you don't find a farm on an industrial estate. No. Industrial estates are too built up for Becky. We've done one down a curtain cider and we didn't like it. It was very boring sitting on a bay for two hours bugger that job um yeah to be honest i'm not gonna lie it's literally two minutes off the m5 i, I can't get lost i can't no she'll be fine um i've been told just to abandon it somewhere i was like right oh okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to abandon it on the industrial estate while i walk my fifth wheel cover in Oh dear, let's go. Wait, you don't see a um, livestock lorry going into an industrial estate. What are we going to pick up? Well, we can't get a forklift in the back, can we? Because it won't go up the ramp. <laughs> oh dear, oh dearie dearie me. Ah. Industrial estate. Ah! Right, and that bit. This looks more like a housing estate. Uh. <laughs> now, this is way too built up for me. Way too big. <laughs> uh, nah. Where to the end? Uh. It's me biting my nails like uh, <laughs> No, not this driveway. Traffic light I'm guessing these traffic lights then. Hey look at me. Look at me. Hey look! Look at me! <laughs> right. This way. Left. I don't know my lefts and rights. It's always a handy thing that is. Come on. Right, turn here. We will, my will, my friend. Uh, right, done that bit. Oh. It feels so odd coming through. It feels so odd. Not gonna find any farms around here. No, sir, we are not. Uh, 
I mean, don't get me wrong, fair play to like these, um, oh, no, we're gonna keep going. Uh, oh, keep, keep going. Entry. Uh, uh, right, fair play to like all like the general haulage people because f <laughs> not that lane. Hello? Oh, well. Told you you can get lost. I'm getting lost. Oh, you're on the right route. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. Go. I've got my GoPro. Oh, this must be the lane. Go past turn away lane. This lane. I'm going down here now. Durry way. Durry way. Yeah, Durry way. Oh, it's a bit carry. Eh? On oh, what the? Oh, uh... no, because I can get down there. Just jump down here. Well, I dropped my fifth wheel cover off and now I've got to try and get out of this industrial estate. We don't do this bit. Look at this. <laughs> so I'm just going to my farm now. Um, I'll show you. I have to go down this road in the little lorry. It's so tight, so narrow. Uh, it's this one here for Tamworth. We have to go down there into a farm. You can only get a little lorry in there, down there so tight in the farm but we're coming off at this one um yeah we, i just rang dad up because he's got the gate code on oh, oh that's the wrong thing he got his gate code oh i i can't memorize the gate code so he's written it down then he was like oh i'll ring you later this was at seven o'clock this morning oh i'll ring you later for the gate code but well, like he was going to give me the gate code so i just rang him uh, bearing in mind, it's nearly four o'clock. Uh, that gate code would be nice, Dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. He's looking at me because I've got a GoPro on my head. Um, so he's like, oh, I'm in Leicester Forest East Services. I was like, all oh, right, that's handy, isn't it? He's like, I was like, what are you doing there? He says, oh, I'm having my dinner. I was like, all oh, right, because he's having a night out as well. And um, I was like, well... I'm on the 42. Ooh. I'm on the 42. Can I have the gate code when you get back to Laurie? He was like, okay, I'll walk over now. I was like, right, okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just getting to my farm now. The gate has opened for me. downhill. Just, just so this is home sweet home for me. This is my view. Cattle over there. There's cattle in there as well. Um, I'm on a bit of a like that so I've put my head like that. <laughs> uh, it'll do. It'll do. I'm just gonna be sat here for a while because there's no point in going all the way home to come back and I don't have enough time to take them to the farm. 
damn it so really nice the farmer um <laughs> allowed me into his house uh gave me bacon rolls for dinner so i haven't even eaten my microwave meal i've had three cups of coffee so i'm buzzing off the walls um he said oh uh, i don't really like getting up too early so his alarm's going for seven so i get a lion oh this is great um i'm just about to put my tv on again and um Again, don't forget, I got that from Cuda. Um, I got my fifth wheel from Cuda as well that I dropped off to get airbrushed. Um, if you use Becky 10, that's 10% off. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to get the duvet from the top bunk because I always store that up there. And um, we're going to just go and sit in bed and watch some TV. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Lion! I'm gonna get up at half six. That is a lion. Anything past five o'clock is a lion. So, see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday. Um, I just got um changed up. Whatever. Went for the farmer to get up. Um, I know he's up because the dogs are out. And um yeah we've got 21 to put on so not a full load they're only store cattle so i'm taking them to another farm um what's that oh god um so i'll just do them in three sevens i'm not using the whole trailer if it was dad he'd use the whole trailer i'm like no i'm not washing the whole thing out so i'll do three sevens it's easier and then um uh, where is it? Can you see? No. Where is it? It's down there. Hello! Hello! She's like, retreat! <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do while then. I'm waiting for the farm. So he's just moving his cattle. I've just started up. I put my card in at like quarter past seven. So, well, um, we'll wait for him to move his cattle and then we'll park up into place. I'm literally, all I'm doing is picking these up um, and then driving to Lutterworth to drop them off and then go home and wash out. So that's not a bad day in the office. Ooh, let's go.
going to say it now because I'm in so much pain. Um, I've had um, one one had me down. Um, oh, my voice not going. Is it? I don't know. One had me down. Um, I've grazed both my elbows and I've really banged my head quite badly. Um, so I'm going to warn you now. I probably won't do a lot of videoing because I just want to get these cattle off to this farm. Um, it's a good job that I've only got this today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get going, and um, I'm not gonna worry Dad yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get finished first before I ring him and say I've had a bad accident. I'll be like, Laurie's fine. No, it's just me. Oh dear. But um, yeah, we'll um, we'll get going. I've just stopped at the end of this town, a driveway, um, just to connect my phone to Bluetooth just in case I get a phone call um, and then um, we're just going to get going my mood's just gone down big time oh my god so I've just pulled up to the farm um, I'm just about to ring the gate I haven't been I can't remember where the gate is lost. about to ring the gate and then we'll drive down and um, the jaw really hurts um, we'll unload them Calling. <laughs> now I said the gate is opening. Yep. It's got a flashing light on it as well. Because I hit it. It closed on me. I don't like electric gates. So I've been kicked, I've been whacked over, and I've done whatever. That's the risk you take with dealing with livestock but I have never been like I'm normally quite good at getting out of the way um, but this time I literally had nowhere to go I there was yeah literally had nowhere to go and it came straight at me and pinned me to the floor um, obviously luckily I wasn't on my own I had the farmer with me all it did was pin me to the floor and then ran off and tried to kick me um, but it missed its kick. Bad aim, I'd say. <laughs> My jaw really hurts. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is literally the part of the job. You take, you have to take the risks about it. At animals are what, like cattle are wild animals. Um, they all have a mind of their own and when they want to do something, they'll do it. Um, you just have to take it on the chin and take it how it goes. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've never been knocked over like that before. So I've just parked up, finished washing out. Uh, and um, we're gonna go home. Um, Dad's working Sunday, I'm back out on Monday. I'm in the deck on Monday. So um, I'll see you guys Monday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll keep these videos coming. See ya.